Okay, let's look at this next one in our notes. Let's use more circle. And I didn't write this, so write this on your in your notes. Let's find the principal stresses, theta P, maximum shear stress, theta S. These are going to be the easiest ones <coughs> to do. So let's reiterate what we've got. We've got a sigma X of negative 25, a sigma Y of 0, a tau XY of positive 10. Got to get those right. So my starting point is negative 25, 10, negative 25, 10. So if you haven't already, draw your axes. <coughs> Try to draw some even line, even tick marks. If these are all 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, so I'm going to go <coughs> 5, 10, 15, 25, and then positive 10, which is down right here. Be careful. Remember, this is positive is down. <coughs> The center is at the average. Center is, is at negative 12.5 for this one. 5, 10, right there. Center is right there. So the radius would be <clears throat> this hypotenuse uh, from 12.5 to 25. Whoops. <coughs> the base of that would be 12.5. The height of that would be 10, so the radius 16.01, okay? <clears throat> so then I'm going to take my point and go up and down 16.01, so 5, 10, 15, so 16, 5, 10, 15, 16.01. Um, but then also I'm going to, starting at this negative 12.5, I'm going to go to the right, 16.01. That would be 3.5. And to the left, minus 16.01, negative 28.5. And I'm rounding, I guess, that 01 there. All right, so this would be at 3.5. And this would be to the left... <clears throat> 28.5 right there. So here is my Moore circle right there. Okay, not too bad. <coughs> so I just found the principal stresses. Sigma 1 is going to be 3.5 KSI, right? It's that point. Sigma 2 is going to be negative 28.5 KSI. Tau is zero at this spot, at this location. <clears throat> okay, now theta P. Well, theta P, I can just find that right there is 2 theta P, right? The angle to the x-axis is 2 theta P. Right there, the angle, <coughs> because this is, that is where my principal stresses are. <clears throat> so I want to know how far I am from the principal stresses. That is 2 theta P. All right, so if that right there is 2 theta P, and I know this base, 12.5 and 10, <clears throat> then I can find this. This is 2 theta P. Um, 12.5 and 10. So tangent is tangent of that angle is opposite over adjacent. <coughs> Sorry. 2 theta P would be 38.6. Theta P, 19.3. But... <coughs> I had to go clockwise to get to the principal plane, right? <clears throat> I'm starting right here. I had to go clockwise to get to the <clears throat> horizontal axis. So my theta P <clears throat> is actually negative. It's negative. The math didn't tell me it was negative, although you could have put 
a negative um, 12.5 right here. <clears throat> but it's negative because I went clockwise to get to the principal stresses. <clears throat> so there we go. That Those are the principal stresses, and that is uh, theta P, <clears throat> negative 19.3 degrees. Okay? Now, tau max. <clears throat> I've already calculated it. Uh, it's either right here or right here. <clears throat> the magnitude is going to be 16.01. These KSI or PSI, sorry. KSI. <clears throat> what is the sigma at this location? <clears throat> it is at the average, right here, <clears throat> negative 12.5. And then theta s, <clears throat> theta s is 45 degrees from theta p, but also I could calculate <clears throat> theta s would be this angle, that would be 2 theta s right there. <clears throat> that would be 2 theta s right there. So I could kind of do this again, find that angle, that angle divided by 2, <clears throat> Or I could just add 45 degrees and get 25.7. So theta s, 25.7 <clears throat> degrees. <clears throat> you know, theta s and theta p are 45 degrees away from each other. On Moore's circle, on Moore's circle, they are 90 degrees away from each other. Does that make sense? Yeah, because... <clears throat> two degrees in real life equals um, one degree in real life equals two degrees on Moore's circle. <clears throat> so they're 45 degrees apart here. <clears throat> they're 90 degrees apart right here. So there we go. So step back. <clears throat> we define what we had. We drew our axes. Found the starting point, center, radius. We took that center and went radius left right, radius up down, <clears throat> and the radius left right from the center, those were the principal stresses. <clears throat> and then we looked at what angle we started from. That angle we started from is 2 theta p <clears throat> to find theta p. Theta s is 45 degrees away from that. All right.